were on it that had a big change of style. Mm. Hard work if you've yeah. got, you know, you're building, and they're working in a very different way. And when you see our furniture too, which is very different from normal school furniture, it was created in this for this building. It takes time for staff mm. to be able to work with different yeah. with a different one. To that, so all these things add to the, yeah. you know, to yeah, the actual yeah. work. <laughs> all right. So let me go back. Um, image of the child, and then go back to the investigators mm. because mm. we w in regio they call it projection. Yeah. We we, which is appropriate for us, we call it an investigation. Okay, because. For our parents, a project, they still have a, a memory of what a project is for them. Yeah. And that was everybody gets a topic and, and yeah. goes <laughs> to study it, you know. And, um, and what I always say to parents, you know, it's not about learning facts. Mm -hmm. Yes, we want to teach children about literacy and numeracy. Those are, those are the real academic skills. I need that for life. But you only have to press a button on the computer and you can find out any fact that you want. Yeah. It's mm. really about teaching children about learning. It's really about thinking. And um, there was a conference here in Adelaide this year in mm -hmm. July, yeah. Yeah. the Regio Conference. Yeah. Did you see the yeah. answer yeah. 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 Did anybody come from there? No, we want it. And then the schools are not. Yeah. And then there was like H1N1. And yeah, and no. yeah, they probably did. Everybody wants to go. <laughs> and then it's a very big expense for the school. And I'll tell you how this, our school has actually organised it because we do send staff to Reggio and Media. Yeah. Every year, staff go. Mm -hmm. um, and the school made that commitment when they when they started. Um, and we've had many, many staff going to Reggio and Media for the program. Um, the Adelaide conference, we had uh, 30 staff going. And we paid for the conference, but they paid their own way. Every, you know, we said, I said, I don't have a budget for everything. <laughs> I'm happy to pay the conference, but you'll have to pay your own way. So teachers got together. <laughs> Is that what happened here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's difficult. You know, there's only so much that, that any school can provide. Um, okay, so at that conference, actually, we had... Um, we were supposed to have Tiziana, she didn't come at the last moment, but we had Eleanor who was just as wonderful as Tiziana. Mm. And she spoke about the right for children to learn to learn. Not just about the right to learn, because every child has the right yeah. to learn, but the right to learn to learn. Mm. And um, the right to the contemporary, mm. which was another very interesting statement. She said, you know, you've got, even talking about things like um, superheroes and children, you know, there's some schools that say, you know, leave your superheroes at home. And what they say is, if you don't accept the child that comes to you, you're not accepting the whole child. Mm -hmm. You know, it's this idea that if a child comes with their mobile phones or their iPods or their, these children are different to them. Mm -hmm. You know, I look at my three-year-old granddaughter, just goes and she sits down and she uses the computer. She's teaching me. <laughs> we don't have the same skills in computer as what they do. They, they're born with this in their, in their heads. I think children are born with different functions. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, investigations, okay. It should be reciprocal. Okay. You know, it needs to be that you give part, the children give back. It's this, as in Regia, they talk about the bouncing, the throwing of the ball between mm -hmm. each other. And um, we call it an investigation because for us it means reciprocity. Mm. Um, I spoke to somebody who said to me, to her, investigation is not the right word. Mm. Mm. And I said, why? And she said, because to her, an investigation is one person investigating mm. something. Mm. And, and that's why the language you build up within your school has to fit with your school language. Mm -hmm. you, because for us, it is reciprocal. Yeah. For this person coming, she did not see it as reciprocal. So the language is very important, and that's what's been very important to us in terms of um, Project Zero and the cultures of thinking, is that the whole school is still speaking the same language. Yeah, it's mm. very important. Very important to speak the same language. Um, okay, so investigations. Investigations can start really from the passion or the interest of children. Um, it can start very much, and it mostly does, from the adults, and that's where you talk about curriculum, mm -hmm. okay? I'll give you a very good example from our, our year three class, okay? 
Year three, they've always done the water cycle. Water was part of the curriculum in year three. Yeah. Um, and I know I have three children I went to the school, and every two years, same thing. They could have taken a project from the one to the other and just handed it back to the teacher. They didn't because they had their, I was their mother. But, but, they, could, but they could have, because yeah. the teachers decided, what are we going to teach the children, and how are we going to teach the children? Um, and about eight or nine years ago, we said to the teachers, instead of you deciding what you're going to teach the children, just ask them a basic question. Something like, how does water get into their homes? And ask them to draw their theories. And when they did that, what they noticed was that 99.9% .9 of the children knew the whole water cycle. Mm. And, and that was a huge moment for the teachers because every year they had taught the water cycle. <laughs> you know, and, and here they saw that these children already knew the water cycle. Yeah. Mm. Um, we know our three-year-olds. We've had a lot of rain lately. The children mm. know about the water cycle. They, they tell it to us. Mm. So this idea of waiting until year three to learn something when they already know it when they're three years old. Now, water is still part of the curriculum, yes. but every year it's done in a different way because it's coming from the children. Mm -hmm. So one year was a tsunami, drought, flood, sewage. That was a good one, yeah. the sewage. Um, one year was about... You know, we've got a lot of building on the docklands and on, on, along the South Bank. Mm -hmm. So ha what is the difference between the way people live who live now on the water compared to mm -hmm. those who live in rural communities? So really authentic, real, it's not just about, you know, a topic. Mm -hmm. It's about real learning that they do. Yeah. The questions that we have really Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, Melbourne. Melbourne is always been done as part of Year 4. Mm. They used to start off going, taking the children on the bus up the Rialto Tower mm. because they could see the whole of Melbourne from the top of the tower. So it's all about building. Mm. Um, one, one, just recently, one of the children went to Melbourne and he saw a beggar on the street, and he was very moved by this. Came to school talking about the beggars, and that started the whole thing about poverty. Mm and really bringing it down to poverty in Melbourne. They brought in the, uh, some, uh, you know, a wonderful man who worked with, with street people, people mm. who are living on the streets. So it was real and it was authentic. Mm. And if you can find a topic that, or an interest that, that the children are passionate about, you can teach them anything through that. And in fact, every time an investigation for us begins, we will think, what else can we teach through that investigation? It could be m um, new maths, measurement, um, you know, science, whatever it is. And, and also, another very important part of it, and this is something that we didn't know for a long time. We're learning more and more, because every time we learn more about the Regia philosophy, and the deeper we go into what actually happens there, because it's very complex and very deep, the idea of the teacher as learner, and what can the teacher learn from mm. this investigation. Yeah. You know, very important because I, I know that I was in Re when I was in Reggio a couple of years ago, they were doing, they were looking at maths as a language. Mm -hmm. 